What's up Buccaneers? I'm Bowie Dupree and today you will be watching my episode of Alatoona High School's Shipwreck. Enjoy! My gosh, it is such a beautiful day. I love to hike in this sort of weather. Being outside makes me think of the wildlife, for example, horses. I ride horses every week and I made a video to talk about it. Roll the clip. Today I'm going to inform you about one of the physical therapies I do, hippotherapy. Before I show you what it's like, let's hear from my therapist Chelsea. Hi, my name is Chelsea and I'm an occupational therapist at McKenna Farms Therapy Services. At McKenna, we use horses to do what's called hippotherapy. The term hippotherapy translates just to horse therapy. Hippotherapy is a treatment tool or what we call a modality. We utilize the movement of the horse to engage multiple body systems, including the sensory, neuromotor, and cognitive system. The, this provides the rider with the input of a reciprocal and rhythmical movement pattern. Horses are able to provide the rider with a much greater number of repetitions of this input than if they were just walking on their own in a much shorter amount of time. This helps with coordination, postural control, and motor planning. So Bowie rides the horse for these very reasons, and we found it very beneficial for him. Thanks, Chelsea. There's the barn. And there's the outdoor arena. Before I get on a horse, I have to put my helmet on for safety reasons. Then I go to the platform that helps me get on the ho horse. There is the horse that I ride now. Once I get on and I'm stable, ha ha get it horse stable, I'm ready for takeoff and then off I go. After I was riding for a minute I went all titanic on these people and started doing shoulder stretches. There is literally no difference between me and Leonardo anyways, this helps my mobility. Then I started to ball like curry all over the place, dunking left and right this helps my arm movement as well. After all that stuff, it's time for my favorite part, the outdoor trail when that's done it's time to go, that's all I have. Hello folks, we'll be back after this short commercial break, stay tuned. Welcome back kiddos, in this next video I'll be taking you along in my hunt for monsters, I love danger, and after all, it is my middle name. It's gonna be a wild ride full of anticipation, let's get into it mate. Hey 
guys it's Bowie again, today me and my servant, I mean sister, are going fishing, yay I I. We will be using this ugly stick rod with an agility bait caster, and a Guggen Pra bait. Then this Abu Garcia open reel rod combo with a classic zoom worm. Lastly my sister's favorite is Shakespeare rod from Walmart with a really expensive American hero bait caster reel with a different Guggen bait. We started fishing with low expectations because it's cold outside and the sun's out this is a bad combo but we had a goal of one fish, then we would go inside because we were freezing out butts off. We changed spots a couple of times but we fished, and fished, and fished. Normally in the springtime or during pre-spawn my sister can catch a ton of fish. saw these two eagles over the pond. Bait broke so Cruz decided to switch it out to something different. This is called a bandito bug lol, she sticks the hook through the top, then turns it around and pushes it back through the body. And there you have it. It was frustrating because she was out of weights. Weights make the bait heavier so you can cast further out also the water level was at its lowest so even if you cast far out, you're still in the shawl. After doing this for a while in the cold I started to get tired and she was freezing even though she had on all her stupid winter gear I was wearing normal clothes because I'm hardcore she was getting discouraged and started to give all. Thank you guys so much for watching my episode of Shipwrecked. Until next time, steer clear, peace out.